Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video, the video game series in which we look at a new or recently released game and I give you my first thoughts and impressions on it. Today we're looking at Grimstar which is the new RTS that's due to be released soon and this is actually the prologue version. It's interesting and it's got a lot of potential but obviously it is a prologue which means there is still lots of work to be done and many things that do need to be changed. As always, we'll go through the options first, and then we'll jump straight into the gameplay and show you what it's all about. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into it. All right, options then. Uh, first thing you probably know what I'm going to talk about is the aesthetics of it, the way that it overlaps. It's not um, been done in the best way possible. Whilst, yes, it's the center of the screen, it overlaps with the rear sort of background image here. And it would be better if it was moved over to the right slightly and maybe a better color scheme and everything as well with it. Just to neaten it up and make it look really, really good. That being said, the actual options themselves are pretty good considering this is an old school RTS. Think sort of Starcraft, think Command and Conquer. It's very much that sort of style. So what have we got? We've got full screen, borderless, full screen language, reverse mouse rotation and frames per second on or off. I like the fact that you can decide to choose how much FPS you're getting. Display options, you've got game quality, resolution, AA, V-Sync on or off and brightness. Sound options, everything is on to Mac except for the music. This I'm kind of okay with. I will say that the voice acting is not the best I've ever heard. Um, also, the cutscenes are quite delayed. What I mean by this is I hit the button to skip thinking that I was just meant to skip to the next sort of bit of dialogue. But it was just that it was that slow coming that I actually ended up skipping the entire lot by accident. Um, it is also worth noting as well the subtitles could maybe be done a little better um, when you jump into it in the first opening cutscene. Half of the subtitles are hidden by the light that it's overlapping. So a way of either making the background a bit more opaque so it's actually readable would be something to bear in mind. And then you've got keyboard sh shortcuts here which look to be fully rebindable as well. So there are your options. Not bad for a start. Um, a few minor touch-ups here and there just to make it look a bit better would go a mile in way of improving the user experience. Let's jump into the game and see how it plays. All right, we're in the game. Uh, as you can see, it is very similar to um, that of old school CNC games um, where you have a big map here and you have to go out, collect your resources. In this case, it's ty crystals, not unlike the Tiberian crystals of old. You have units which you have to build. You've got a hero unit which you've got to keep safe. And you've basically got to protect your workers from the aliens whilst you collect these resources and beat the game. You will need a radar station in order to see what's on your map over here. And you've got your overall tasks in the bottom right hand here. In the very bottom right hand, you will see things like the enemy presence, um, how much they want to kill you, etc. How strong the waves are going to be, how many crystals you've got left and how many artifacts are in the game as well. Mission wise, it starts out pretty simple, but gets gradually more complex as you go through and if you like rts's especially if they're a um you know if you like your your slower paced rts's which this definitely is then this really is going to be the game for you you can also upgrade your hero units as you see they will level up once they level up you'll be able to um upgrade them and give them resources accordingly to do that the enemies so far seem pretty straightforward. There are some that have immunities to certain weapon types and architecture. And if you're not careful, you will lose your workers to these. Now you can buy a maintenance unit to keep you going as well. And it's probably going to be worthwhile um, building a delivery point every now and then. So it's closer so that you don't have to worry about the travel time of your workers getting the crystals back to where they need to be. This is in very, very early access. It is the prologue. It would be awesome to see if they did have a PvP mode where you could maybe play as different factions. But for now, this seems more than sufficient. Um, it would be nice if maybe you could have less limitations on certain units. 
For example, you can only have four um, of the worker units sort of building anything at any one time or working or collecting anything, which can, again, sort of mess with the pace of the game. It always feels like you're not going as efficiently as possible because you can only use a certain amount of uh, units per thing. So if we take this and build this over here, then what we can actually do is we can start building up a base around these crystals to keep us safe so it's not just our worker units that are going hammer and tongs. What we are going to do is we're going to call a heavily infantry back down to keep us going as we go through. And that's the game. It's pretty much bog standard sort of RTS sort of territory. The pacing is rather slow but that's not a bad thing and it's pretty fun so far the voice acting could probably use a little bit of a touch up some of the menus are still not amazing um there's a, a spelling error in one of them when you load into the game it says are loading instead of is loading or just loading and aesthetically it could probably be made to to look just a little bit better as well so there you are, guys. That is Ready for action. Grimstar. Ready for a really interesting uh, new RTS that's come out that looks amazing, runs really well. I'm very excited to see what else they've got in store. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.